Hey, kids. Welcome to Unfiltered Friday. I think I've called it Unfiltered Friday, Friday Unfiltered, Friday Unleashed. Um, it's some sort of un-Friday. Um, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about alcohol inks. Um, alcohol inks can be really pretty or they can be really wild. Um, I did this one just for funsies. It was an old one that I had started about six months ago and I just hit it with alcohol in my dryer and made this like exploding flower thing. It's pretty cool. Um, very shiny. Just did that a while ago. Um, you can do stuff like make little tiles. I don't like um, anything very tame so mine always look like kind of a hot mess. Um, I actually did this one with markers. Um, today though, I think we're going to do a light switch plate. Um, easy peasy, go to Home Depot, buy a 19.49 cent, I don't know how much they are now, light switch plate, take screws out because you really don't need them in there. Hmm. Should have done that before I started to film, I suppose. Before I started to sh shoot. Shoot. I don't need that little back part anyway. That's just to keep them in there. Um, if when you're done with your alcohol, your plate, you want your screws the same color, I guess you could put some alcohol ink on them or a dab of paint or whatever floats your boat. So, I am not great at alcohol inks. Probably not even good at alcohol inks. Um, I enjoy playing with them from that, from time to time. I don't get too serious about it. Um, I've got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff. Uh, because at one point I thought that I needed everything, <laughs> every color, every brand, every everything. And so, like, I got crazy. I'll show you. Um, maybe, um, but right now I think we're just going to jump right in and, and fiddle with this light switch. So let's get that going. Ta-da! Light switch. Um, let's see here. I really can't get much closer than that. So there we go. So here we have... Some alcohol inks. Da -da -da -da. Here we have three more boxes of alcohol inks, and we have these two. Um, they're all different brands. Like I said, thought I needed everything. Went out, bought a bunch of stuff. Turned out that I really wasn't that um, crazy about alcohol inks. They're pretty. I like them. Blah. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, we're going to clean this up because it did just come out of a package, but one good way to clean things is with hand sanitizer, believe it or not, but I just happen to have this little bottle of 99% isopropyl. Just going to give it a little squirt squirt. I guess I should put on gloves. I don't like to wear gloves. Sometimes I don't wear gloves, but if I don't wear gloves on the YouTube, somebody's going to yell at me and then I'll have to yell back and we'll have a fight. Because I don't take to being yelled at very well. So, Or else somebody will say, you know what I think you should do is wear gloves. And then I'll yell because that's unsolicited advice and I don't need that in my life. So, let's just take a little piece of this paper towel. Give us a little wipey wipe. And the thing about alcohol, you guys, and you should know this, and you probably do, is it it does evaporate really fast. So you don't have to worry about doing this the day before or an hour before or whatever. You can just do it, and it's done. So, what colors are we going to use? I don't know. Let's have some purple and some teal and some purple and teal and... Red, 
red, purple, teal. Let's have some uh, rainbow glitter. This stuff is the bomb. And let's get this out of the way because I'll blow it across the room otherwise. All right. This is my blower. It's, it's a Revlon uh, dryer brush thing. I just took the brush out and zoomy zoom. So I'm going to start, like I said, I am not a pro at this. I'm not even probably decently good at it, um, but I enjoy it sometimes. So I like to play with it. We're just going to start with some red. Bye-bye. All the people that actually do alcohol ink are out there going, that's not how you do it. Well, that's how I do it, which is probably why I stink at it, but that's okay. You don't have to be good at everything, folks. You just got to enjoy what you're doing. You know, it's kind of a thing. All right. Then we're gonna throw some purple at it. That's really not how you do it. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Now, we're gonna take this alcohol before we get too serious here. We're just going to squirt a little on here. Look at it go to work doing its alcohol thing. Now, if you get these little liney things and you really don't want them, and if you're like me and you're just kind of winging it as you go, get a brush, squirt some alcohol, brushy, brushy. Works like a friggin' charm, I'm telling you. Look at that. No more little lines. Isn't that cool? And the alcohol activates the ink. So I have some um, bronze, bronze, brass from uh, somebody. Help me, Rhonda. Uh, here it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, pinata. Brass. Comes with this great big bottle. You put it in one of these little bitty bottles, mix it with some alcohol, go nuts. Watch this. Look at that. Wants to go red in there. I think you're supposed to actually put the color down first. Whatever. Get picky. A little alcohol. Because there's already a little alcohol in there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? You have to shake this every time. Get it nice and dry. This 
really loud. I know, I know. I'll put another little dot of red down here. A little bit of alcohol. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Like I said, I don't like anything to look like it's been tamed in any way. I like for my alcohol inks to be wild and crazy and weird and happy go flappy. So. I am not a tame kind of gal, I guess. Much to the chagrin of my mother. Grandmother, actually. She was the prim one. She really was prim, you guys. Loved her to death, but prim, absolutely. Okay, in some ways, she was prim. Um, she'd get out and work with a man, though. Didn't tell her what she could and couldn't do. But, you know, she behaved more like a lady than I probably ever would or could. You know, she was one of those don't cuss, don't smoke. It was funny because my grandpa smoked. My grandmother did not. She was a staunch non-smoker. Which was fine. I mean, good for her, right? But... He smoked in the house, and I have yet to this day to figure out how she could stand it. Because, you know, cigarette smoke stank, y'all. It really do stank. Okay, we're going to see what we can do with this here. Now, what's cool about these is you can also put texture on them. That's fun. Now we're gonna run this the other way. So see, you can use it either way. You can use it this side up or that side up. See how flipping smart that is? I am brilliant. Okay, never mind. Maybe not brilliant. Maybe just middling something.
Okay, you want to see something else cool? I know you do. This is, um, what is this? This is Marabou Rainbow Glitter Alcohol Ink. You got to shake it till you hear the little thing go bang, bang. Little marble, whatever it is. Stick that on there. Look at that. Look at that glitter, glitter. Woo, woo. Now, if you don't like the way a spot's looking, like right there where it's like really light pink, and you go, I don't like that. That's not pretty. It's gross. Turn it whichever way you want to take the color from. Put your little dit dot alcohol boob. You want to be real careful that way. You can touch it to it if you want to. just found I found a white spot right there we don't get rid of that that's that's not good we don't want that so we're gonna put a little spot of red bing bang now we'll put a little bit of this glitter right there bing bang I won't blow it I bet you thought I was gonna put another wolf howling in there didn't you Surprise, surprise. I decided not to. Thought you'd rather hear my dulcet tones. How you like that? And then I'm going to say, I don't like that. I don't like the way it turned out. I just want some more little glitter right here. And I want it to kind of ease up that line a little bit that I left. I'm going to put a little more. I'm going to let it sit there for a second. And I'm just going to kind of ease it around a little bit. Hole, and then I'm just gonna dry it there. Looky, looky on the inside of my screw hole, which absolutely doesn't matter, no one will ever, ever see it, but I know it's there. Here we are again with the brush, right? Oh, but we used it. We didn't clean it. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I have the answer to that. Where'd it go? Here it is. I have one of these little cheapy artist palette thingamajiggies. Put a little alcohol in it. Dip your little dirty brush in it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
Look at that ink. Voila. So go around and find all the little places that you didn't miss that are close to that color and then blow it. Look over here, see this old dried up stuff? I probably haven't touched this in, I don't know, a year. Where's my alcohol go? There it is. Put a little alcohol on it. Running out of the goods there. Oh, there we go. Now, if I stood here all day, scrubbed on that it'd come off it'd be it'd be viable usable ink again it kind of is now so just kind of touch up touch up and if it's still too light for you like it is for me right now put your little ink a little brush 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 bah, bah, bah. Da, da, da. look at that Look at that. Brilliant. They make little glass table things that you can work on. I have one somewhere in this room. I don't know where. Uh, and they're nice, but I didn't want to haul out that hole thing. See? There's a white spot. No more little white spots. Hey, like that. That is so keen, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Friggin' awesome. And there you go. That, my friends, is how you decorate a plate. A light plate. Light switch plate whatever this thing is that's how you do it i'm also going to get the insides of this right here just because i don't want it to be white i don't necessarily want it to be that color either there we go whoopsie whoopsie hit it no 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 don't do that you didn't invent that there okay so when this is all dry I could probably go do it even tonight. This stuff doesn't take very long to, to dry, but I usually give it a, you know, a few days or whatever anyway. You're going to take it out and you're going to spray it with, what is that stuff called? Crap. Um, one moment, please. Okay, so when your piece is dry... You're going to go out and you're going to hit it with this Krylon Kamar varnish. And you're going to let that dry for a while. And then you're going to hit it with it again. You're going to let it dry for a while. Then you're going to hit it with again. And you're going to let it dry for a while. Then you're going to hit it with this Krylon UV, UV resistant clear. And you're going to do that some number of times. I'm tired of going through the whole thing. You let it dry for a while. Um, and then it's it's good. It's as good as it's going to get. Um, alcohol inks have a tendency to fade. So <laughs> your masterpiece probably ain't going to look so good 100 years from now. But, you know, usually this stuff's not going to sit out in the sun. This light switch cover is not going to sit out in the sun. Here's your light switch cover. I think it's really pretty. I love it. I love the chaos of it. I love chaos. Chaos, my middle name should be Kelly Chaos Stole Feral Art. Kelly Chaos Feral Art Stole. Whatever. All works. Anyway, there's our lovely little light switch cover. I think it's really cute. You might hate it, and that's okay. It's your right. So anyway, that's today's little Friday goodie. <laughs> Bye for now. Thanks for watching.